Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. Do you need to place an image on an angled surface, just like the individual in this post? With Affinity Photo, you can do just that. In this video, we're going to try to place a wallpaper image on various iPhone screens angled in various ways. So let's get right into it. Let's begin with our first example. The first step is to add the wallpaper as a layer. I'll do that by copying and pasting the image. Notice that after the pasting is done, a layer is added to the top of the layer stack. The first tool we need to begin this process is by using the Move tool. But what is the Move tool? The Move tool allows you to select layer content. Once selected, the Move tool allows you to move, rotate, and resize the selected content. Notice that when the Move tool is selected, handles appear around the selected layer. Dragging on the corner handles resizes the image, while dragging on the topmost handle rotates the image. So now that the wallpaper has been added as a layer, the next step is to place the wallpaper on the target surface. Before I do that, I'll delete the target surface so that the wallpaper will show through. This is optional, but will make things easier as you'll see in a moment. I'll size the wallpaper and move the image right on top of the desired area. Next, I'll drag the wallpaper's layer below the background layer. As you can see, since I placed the wallpaper below the background layer, I don't need to size it precisely. So this result is looking good, but it's not perfect. If you look closely, the perspective of the wallpaper does not match the target area. How do we fix this? We do that through the Perspective tool. So what is the Perspective tool? The Perspective tool allows you to modify perspective of the image. It allows for full history support, which means you can go back and correct errors if you make them. It has certain key settings. The plane setting lets you set the number of planes the Perspective tool can be applied. It has a destination mode, which is the default, and automatically applies perspective to the whole image as you adjust the grid. The show grid setting will allow you to display a grid over your image to adjust perspective with precision. If this option is off, only the boundaries of the perspective is displayed. So let's bring up the perspective tool by clicking on filter, distort, and perspective. As you can see, a dialog will appear with a bunch of controls. For our needs, we will be perfectly satisfied sticking with the defaults, except for I disabled Show Grid. Now that we've brought up the Perspective tool, let's go to the next step, which is to adjust perspective. You do that by moving the corner handles. Notice the behavior of dragging the corner handles differs from that of the Move tool. I'll drag the handles to each corner of the target surface. And there you go, a very natural looking result, wouldn't you say? Now let's move on to the second image. I'll use the same set of tools and follow more or less the same steps from the previous example. First, let's use the Move tool to size the image. Next, let's use the Perspective tool. Again, I'll drag the handles to each corner of the target surface. Now this looks almost good, if not for the person's fingers getting clipped by the wallpaper. How do we fix this? We do that by deleting the portion of the wallpaper overlapping the fingers. And how do you do that? Simple. I'll first click on the background layer.
Next, I'll use the selection brush to select the overlapping fingers. Then I'll click on the wallpapers layer and press the delete key. And voila, the fingers show through. Another excellent placement. Finally, let's put everything we've learned into one last example. So there you have it. That's how you place any image into any angled surface with two powerful tools of Affinity Photo, the Move tool and the Perspective tool. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you're aware of other techniques or tools to do what we just did. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.